Good morning, beautiful people. It's Monday. September. Um, ooh, that helps a lot. I don't know if it helps the camera, but it helps my eyeballs. It is currently court... currently quarter of five in the morning Monday September 14th my friends and I'm about to start my day mm. this is the hard part of the day the rolling out of bed part the snooze the alarm 742 times and refuse to get out of bed until you absolutely have to part. But today, today I'm gonna do things a little differently, I think. Today I'm not gonna snooze 740 something times, whatever I said. Today I'm only gonna snooze once. I did that already. So now it's time to actually get up. Also, side note, My hair doesn't look that bad for just waking up. That's good. Okay, anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna go make some coffee. I don't like what I see. It's empty. Okay, so the coffee cup is empty. I need to change that, so I guess, I guess let's go do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, would you look at that? I got me some coffee! Um, also, I've been dragging my feet this morning. I'm not really sure why. I had a plan for the day, and I still, I guess I technically still do have a plan for the day. I've just been... That means breakfast is done, but shortly I'm headed to the barbershop. One more thing before I go, I would like to share with you what I think I'm gonna do today after I get back from the barbershop. Well, that was awkward. So, uh, without any further dragging of the feet, um, this is what I wanted to show you. Okay, so I wanna tear this entire area down. I think I'm gonna shift this whole rig here. I think I'm gonna shift that down along that wall. And then what I want to do is you see this thing here. So my plan is to knock a couple inches off of one of the ends of this and to set it up here. Yeah, pretty much this is where I want to move the computer. Also, you can't really tell. But there's a window back there. All right, let's go to the barbershop. Well, here we are. We're back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the barber shop, and uh, I'm very pleased with how things are going. The ceilings are all painted. It all looks beautiful. Apologize if I'm looking right past you. Um, this will help. Now you don't know if I'm looking right past you. <laughs> Problem solved. So <laughs> the ceilings are all painted. The walls are all painted including the walls back here. This just got done on Saturday. Um, so this is all done. I'm working in here. Um, I've got some holes to patch. Uh, I forgot mesh tape. Crap. Um, there's also a really big uh, chunk out of the 
plaster up there that I gotta work on. This wall needs skim coated pretty much entirely. Um, this wall also needs pretty much entirely skim coated. So, that's one of my projects. And then, last week, I hung this drywall and started the joints. Um, so I need to finish finishing. I need to hold this camera steadier, stable, stably, state stabler. -er. I don't know. I'm not making any sense. That's okay. Here we go. Just a few short seconds later, this entire wall is recoded. My next project is to move on to this bathroom. Well, this complicates things. I don't have any more extension cords. I need this light, but I also need this hair dryer. Well, what do I do? I want to dry that top corner, but I can't. I guess I can do it without light. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm calling it quits here for the day. Matthew's here. He's doing some plumbing. He ran to the truck for something. But I got this wall finished. I gotta finish finishing the inside corner up here. I got the bathroom done. Well, almost done. Skin coat. Started filling those holes. Looking good. Matthew! Hey, he ran away. Oh, yes. And I did this. Skim coated the bottom side of all of these, well, all of, both of the beams. Um, so that's gonna be continued tomorrow. But I'm gonna go home now. I just got done eating, and I'm gonna go home and get some things done. Matthew, do you have anything you would like to say to YouTube? I think so. <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> All right, it's time to go home and start projects at home. All right, ready? Bye. Okay, so um, it's amazing how vlogs work, you know? Um, I just spent the last like hour and a half, two hours on the phone. I need a tripod. That's the, sorry for all the shaky shaky. Um, that's the interesting part about vlogging is that it's really easy to like make it look like nothing happened. But here I am to tell you that I have not actually gotten anything done, and it's been several hours. Um, it is <laughs> it is most definitely soon bedtime. But I still want to at least get this corner cleaned out. I want to get this corner ready for that. Goodness gracious, my phone is going berserk. I want to get this corner cleaned out so that I can get this... Um, desktop thingy majigger ready to install. I don't think I'm going to cut it down tonight because I don't know if my neighbors would be too incredibly pleased with that. Then again, one neighbor's in Michigan and the other neighbor doesn't typically care. So maybe I will. I don't know yet. Um, but either way, I want to get preparing. I have a lot of vinyl here that I'm going to have to find a temporary home for. I have... Yeah. I'm just going to stop talking and I'm just going to do it. I don't even know where to go with this stuff.
I gotta take a minute here. I gotta take a minute here to just be a. I gotta take a minute here to just be a proud dad. Can you read it? Can you read it? So there's a couple problems I've encountered, um, but they're going to be solved. I just just got to figure it out. So bear with me. According to Google, 30 inches is the average desk height, which lands right here at this Vinda sill. The Vinda sill is there. There I want the top of my desk, which seems kind of low. So we're going to check this again. Count with me. That does say 30 inches, right? Okay, so the truth is I'm not dumb. I do carpentry for a living. And yes, it says 30 inches. Which, it just seems so low. First of all, I need a chair. I can barely fit through here anymore. Okay, so I'm sitting at a desk, I'm sitting at a desk, desk height is right here. Why does that seem so low? It seems low. Let's ask Google one more time. Hey Google, how tall is a desk? According to Bassett Furniture, while average desk height varies a bit, most desk heights range between 29 inches and 30 inches from the floor to the tabletop. Okay, so you heard it here. Maybe not first, but you heard it here. Um, 30 inches. Which, honestly, it kind of works out, because if I have the window open, which I probably won't, because that's where I, right outside that window is where I store my pallets. Um, which... I use for projects sometimes. Um, that's where I store my pallets, so I probably won't have that Vinda open very often because I, I won't be able to see anything. I mean, I'd just be looking at a stack of pallets. But the one thing I can say is this: I started putting my blinds up, and now they're crooked, and they driving me nuts. I'm going to fix that later. So if this is 30 inches and that's where my desktop is, it'd be kind of nice that my desk just kind of rolls off onto the windowsill. Ew. Ew. Okay. So it'd be kind of nice that my desk just kind of rolls off onto the windowsill. I could even maybe run a bead of cork across there or whatever. The problem is, is that this extends off the wall. Mmm. Mmm. Just over an inch and a half. This means I need to run a 2x4 from the edge of the windowsill all the way across to there on both sides. 2x4s uh, aren't very pretty though. It would be ideal to stack two 1x or have a square cut 2x4. That would be cool. Something. <laughs> Don't judge me. I guess the other thing I could do is cut the back out of the desk and notch it around the windowsill. I don't know. I'll be right back. I'm going to overthink this for a little bit. So, here I am with my feet propped up on my non-existent desk. Yeah, I still have a blue toenail. My daughter painted my nails. If I use two one buys, so the two by is definitely gonna look more thrown together, which it is. It's thrown together. And then also, here's another thing I've looked at is whoa. So this is the walkway, kitchen into my office. 
and if I have that uh, desk, it comes out 30 inches. Which that's like that's like a uh, like rip your entire hip off situation right there. So so what I'm thinking of doing here is I think I'm gonna instead of having instead of having the oh it's down a little I'm too high it's not up here it's down here so instead of having the desktop come out straight I think what I'm gonna do is not quite a 45 probably more like a 22 and a half degree angle I'm gonna pull it right off this corner right here and I'm just gonna cut the because I'm gonna have to trip I'm gonna have to trim the desk anyway is what I'm saying I only have 88 and a half inches this ball right here is only 88 and a half inches and this desk right here is 96 inches which if you do your math correctly that's seven and a half inches too long 88 and a half, nine, eight, 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 eight. yeah I was right, duh I was right I don't know why Anyway, so this is already seven and a half inches too long. So what I'm gonna do is trim seven and a half inches off of one end. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can do it. I talk like this all the time on the job site. Um, no, I'm talking like this on camera. Enjoy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim seven and a half inches off of one end, not that end, because you see this end here. It already has the holes cut in it for the computer monitor cords and things to go down through the desktop underneath to where the computer might may or may not be. But either way, I just realized I don't have an outlet over here, but that's okay because it's relatively easy to get to in the basement. And I, maybe I can just add an outlet or ten. <sighs> Slow down. Okay. So... I'm not going to trim it off of this end because this is the end that's going to go in the corner for the all those things. So I'm going to trim seven and a half inches off of that end. But instead of it coming off of the wall completely square, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it at a slight like a 22 and a half degree angle so that it kind of opens up this lock bay just a little bit so I can get through nice and easy without ripping off my entire right hip or my left hip if I'm going the other direction. So, basically my situation right now is my office is more destroyed -er, more destroyed more destroyed -er than it was. And I still have no desk. I mean, I have a desk. It's over there. But the desk that I wanted to have up today well, you see, I got in this really long conversation with my mother, with my mother, and then, well, one thing turned to another, and I had a conversation with my mother, and then I had a friend hit me up online, and I got distracted, and then I went outside because I heard my neighbor, and I said hi, and then I got distracted some more. <sighs> Okay, so here's the verdict. The verdict is, I never heard back from my neighbor. So, out of respect for my neighbor, I am not going to be cutting and chopping and drilling and sawing and impacting and all of those other things that it will take to install the desk in its rightful home. So, Instead, for tonight, instead of leaning against this wall, it's going to lean against that wall. Tomorrow, I work, and then I come home, and I finish tackling the partially tackled project. So, that being said, guys, it was good. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe, ring the little bell thingy, you know, all that YouTube stuff that everybody does. Um, and if not, hey, I guess do you. It is what it is. Hope you all had a great day. And um, hopefully that, I don't know, hopefully this wasn't all entirely boring. And um, at the very least, hopefully some of my accents were a little amusing or something. I don't know. Good night.